Okay, this is just a, a quick demo of the changes we're incorporating into Vixen 3.5 Update 4. Uh, there's not many to go through, but I thought I'd highlight a couple of them. Uh, basically, we fixed the text vertical alignment. So if I click on uh, Merry Christmas, that's my text effect. If I just uh, preview that, you see it goes across there. That's at uh, vertical offset of 50, so halfway. Previously, when you increase that upwards, it would actually move the, the text downwards. All right, so we basically fix that, um, and also it'll automatically fix all your previous uh, effects that you've got in your other sequences too. So you don't need to worry about changing that around; it'll automatically do it for you. So as you can see there, I'll move it up, move it down. All right, so we fix that one. That's all with the text effect. Um, We've got the, uh, the lip, lip sync over here. Basically, we've added um, positioning for that as well, X and Y coordinates, so we can actually move the, the face. So, for example, um, click on this. I'll just reset that back to 50. Now, obviously, this only works on um, image mapping, uh, and so that's my P10 grid there. Um, as you can see there, it's just playing. Merry Christmas to all. I haven't timed that in with anything. Um, and basically, now you've got these two new offsets. So you've got the X offset and Y offset. So obviously left and right, as you can see there. And then obviously up and down. So just like a lot of the other effects. And obviously you can make it, you know, move around um, and do whatever you, you want there. Um, the other thing that we've got now is you can actually have to take that preview off. You can actually double click on a, a label up here. Uh, when you double click on that, it used to, for example, if there was a gap in here, if I double clicked on Mary, it would make that big and fill that gap there. Now we've actually changed that and turned into the old double click because now we're actually using the double click to play the selected um, um, mark, for example. So if I click on Merry Christmas, what I'll do is it'll play from this point up to that point. And you can see it there. And obviously it'll just finish. Um, if you did have looping enabled up, then it would keep on looping around. Just say uh, I clicked on just this one here, but only play that obviously. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the playing of the marks. Um, Fixed a couple other issues. Uh, the random, the random issue that we fixed last time, we actually introduced a couple of issues into the the pinwheel effect and that. So if you were using 3.5 update three, then you really need to uh, install update four to fix those issues that we introduced. Um, so we've got there's other workflow improvements. Um, there's a new a new mask uh, which I haven't even played with, so I don't really know about yet. Um, and it's called a, a color change. So Jeff uh, might go through that in another video, or just briefly explain it to you. Um, also, the other issue was the gradient effect for the white. So when we added the white, where are we? So we had a wipe if you did have a gradient. And we'll just play that. Alright, red to white. <coughs> when it was across the item, it was fine for going across there once, but if you changed your your um, wipe count any anything above one, what it would do is that the first wipe would be fine, but the rest of the wipes would just be a solid color. So we fixed that as well. Um, that's actually been around for a few months now. Uh, and that's that's probably about it. Obviously a few other little bugs and improvements that we've done as well. Thanks.